Ok, jeg og Lias tester ut Desperado med noen syke karer Hey, what's up, man? Hey, what's up, man? What's up? What happened to your neck, man? My name is Thomas <laughs> <laughs> right, I got my half up, half down. Did it give Ariani? The Knock over another bowl. Get your ass. Come here. My balls are absolutely shriveled up <laughs> and aching from how much I just nutted from eating all of this. Don't come to my house or else I'll suck your dick at uh, blood. I'll suck your blood. I successfully fuck your mom. Trooper. Trooper. Hey, yo, Trooper, where the hoes at? <laughs> Shark squirter? That's what my pussy's what called. <laughs> Mayonnaise? <laughs> Yeah, you're hitting this hole for sure. Hey, yeah, yo, come, come get, get you right. My boy Richie, I already know what the fuck going on. Hey, yeah. What are you guys thinking after this? Maybe like, like another local beat on Jonathan? <laughs> bad bitch on sale. Bad bitch on sale for two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. That's all I'm worth. The disrespect. It's, it's clearance. I'm so sorry. <laughs> What's your name? What you gonna call me or something? What's your name? Jerome. Oh, hi, Jerome. I'm Sam. Oh, uh, well, nice to meet you. Nice Sam. to meet you. Shrug. There's just something about Madame Delta variant, the return of mask mandates that reminds me of the day after you had a substitute teacher and you had the most fun that day and you thought, I can't believe we got away with this. And then your teacher comes back and goes, the sub left a note. So I just got my booty hole checked by my doctor because, you know, stuff happens with my booty hole. And when I spread them things wide, like all outside, he said, looks good. Child, the doctor has confirmed, puts the good, puts the good. Oh, fuck. I gotta go again. I hope they change the porta potty. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. It's still manual. Fuck, it's Emmanuel. <laughs> you making an art for it? Show Grandpa. What is it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bro, is that anybody I know? <laughs> oh, my politics are mundane. Then explain this. What is your favorite flavor of boy? I will show you. I think it's so stupid when people are like, the government's watching you, you gotta cover up your webcam and your cell phone camera. Like, the government is not watching me. I'm not that important. There's no reason for them to watch me. This guy I just heard the other day was like, watch your back. I'm like, I'm watching my back. There's nothing there, dude. Conspiracy theorists, put your tinfoil hats back on because the government's not doing anything. 
I wonder what this button does. I'm honestly very jealous of the weirdos out there with foot fetishes because there's just so much material for them. There's like a million celebrity feet finder websites. You could just DM a random person on Instagram and be like, hey, I'll pay you for a picture of your feet. How you could just walk down the street, see a person in flip-flops that makes your whole entire Wednesday. I wish I could be turned on that easily, but a guy like me, you know, all I care about is a girl's heart, her brain, her soul, her personality, her tip. My goofball of a boyfriend really right. thought homegrown jalapenos were like the ones you get at the store. Mm. It's good. Is it spicy? A little bit. Not really. Mm. He thought wrong. Yo! Fuck! <laughs> Okay. Oh, wait, wait, excuse me. You forgot my shake? Um, I don't see a shake, but I see the number one one you're eating. Tell me a sweet tea. The rich fries is a sweet sauce. My booty shake. <laughs> <laughs> you too. <laughs> yeah, JJ. What the fuck? Really cool, flying through the air with the birds in a plane. So exciting. I just feel like there's something missing that's super obvious that we're just not thinking about. Like, I feel like I need my mommy there to bring me orange juice if I get thirsty or like a blanket if I'm a little chilly. I feel like I need a really hot woman to give me extremely important instructions before the flight takes off that I can completely ignore and maybe even talk over. Sky waitresses, hot air mommies, is that anything? Air, hot moms in little high heels and uniforms? Is that anything? Whenever I'm like, being an adult sucks, I miss being a kid, I go back and read this entry from my eighth grade diary to remind myself of what it was actually like. Amour. Well, a lot has gone by in the last four months I haven't written in you. Started eighth grade, yup. Turned 13, yeah. Made new friends. Mm-hmm. Found someone I like? Question mark. Got over Cody. Whatevs. Suffered depression. Dot 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 dot. Went through tons of drama. Uh. Made up with Jillian. Hmm. Almost committed suicide. Had my heart broken. Why was I so dramatic? What do you call a camel with three humps? Pregnant. What do you call a camel with two humps? Pre a pregnant one humped camel. What do you call a camel with one hump? A pregnant horse. What do you call, now test, see if you remember, what do you call a camel with three humps? A pregnant? Ooh, wrong. It's a one hump camel pregnant with twins. What do you call a four hump camel? Either a horse with quadruplets or a two hump camel pregnant with twins. What do you call a five hump camel? It's a fucking, a fucking sight to behold. Imagine that. Some sort of freaking nature. You guys smoke weed or? You're two years late. Orientals up here a couple years ago. They was dealing drugs right up there in that parking lot. What? Yeah, dealing yeah. drugs. You said they were like Chinese yeah, or? Yeah. Let's just hope those Chinese people aren't selling drugs here well. again.
You don't want any pot or anything, do you? I think you'd better get out of here right now. Better get out of here right now or I'm calling the cops. I'm just trying to make some money. Get out of here. I'm just trying to pay my Get out of here. Get out of here. I'll report you just as fast as I can. I'm leaving, man. You better see how fast you can get out of here. I need you to see the cops. Man, this man high as a bitch, boy. Can I have some chips? Bro, look at the man doing, bro. That man got it. That man too was a, a, a styrofoam cup. Some chips. To get some of these chips, bro. You gotta. You put your you could just put your hand out, dude. Thank you, officer. I'll take it from here. So, so you killed your wife, huh? <sighs> okay. Let me ask you a question. Did you really kill him? Did I? No, you d No, yo, you didn't, bro. You swear to God? <sighs> Alright, where'd you hide your breath? No, you didn't. Bro, where'd you hide your breath? I'll tell the police to go look somewhere else. In your backyard? Bro. Did I? Alright, bro. Alright, so, here's what we're gonna do. I'm telling you you didn't do it, okay? But you did it, though, like, dead ass. What'd you do? She's on you with your bedroom. Oh, uh, so she had it coming, huh? Oh, man, you mean. You mean, huh? I don't blame you, bro. All right, we'll get you. I got you. I got you. I got you. All right, so let's, let's talk about this. Most people have foreheads. And some people have rather large foreheads. For example, look at this guy. Now, that's, now that's a large forehead. Not only is it wide... But it's also quite tall. And that's, that's really what I want to draw your attention to here, is the distance between the eyebrows and the hairline, right? Now, some people with large foreheads are said to have five heads. Uh, matter of fact, there was this girl in my elementary school, people used to say had an eight head. This is because her forehead was way too big for it to even be called a five head. And it got to the point where they used to just call her Eight Head. And I don't even remember her real name. Maybe it was Taylor. But it really doesn't matter. The point is, she had a big-ass forehead. So, so just to reiterate here, as a rule of thumb, the larger the forehead is, the greater the number accompanying the head is. Right? And that's why... Because the magnitude of Eight Head's forehead was far too great for it to be considered a Five Head. Now, I'd like to draw your attention to this guy. Handsome guy, but his whole shit is forehead. It's, it's the forehead that never ends. This is because he's bald. Which is why I want to point out, bald people don't have foreheads. They have infinity heads. Greetings, my name is Beef, and today I would like to present an exceedingly excellent your mother joke. I will now begin. Your biological mother is so morbidly obese. When she went to go get her yearly physical done, the doctor took her blood and the results concluded that she had a high blood pressure, onset type 2 diabetes, hypertension, and the possibility of heart disease. She also suffers from severe depression because she lacks confidence in her physical appearance, which enables her to consume even more food, making her more obese. Not to mention, but your mother is becoming so monstrous, she had a hard time fitting through small spaces and exceeding weight limits on practical applications. Your mother has an endless cycle of malicious eating habits that only make her health worsen over time. I hope whoever has just watched this video enjoyed the humorous Your Mother joke. Thank you for your time and have a blessed day.